Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV, and welcome back to another Chicago Cubs franchise episode here on Emily 14, the show on the PS4. And man, it has been a while since we last visited the Cubs. We're going to be going over all sorts of things today. Really excited to bring this back as baseball season is coming to a close. You guys just saw, depending on when you're watching this, the Giants walk off on a home run to defeat the Cardinals and advance to the World Series. So it is going to be the Giants and the Royals in the World Series this year. And uh, it's going to be pretty exciting. So I wanted to make sure that I finished up all of my MLB series here, here probably the couple uh, last couple of weeks here of the actual baseball season. Just finish it up. So here with the Chicago Cubs, looking pretty good so far in the first half, which is about to come to an end. As you see, the All-Star break is approaching. We're going to be taking a look at all sorts of things, standings, leaders, lineups, pitching, rotation, and bullpen. We're looking at all of that stuff before we enter the game today. You see, we are currently two games back. We're in third place, but we're still two games back of the Cardinals for that top spot. We're second overall in the league, as you see up there in the top. And uh, looking pretty good so far as the team just almost so close in the standings. Jose Fernandez went one down in overall wise. Uh, Ryan Benitez is looking pretty good. And Jake Arrieta has got a little bit of a high ERA of 403. But he's 9-3, and three, so that makes up for it. Travis Wood, pretty good ERA, decent. Um, and also Samuel Leon, who's an 83 overall, has a 4-4-5 ERA, who's 4-8. and eight. So he's struggling a little bit. We have Paco Rodriguez in the bullpen trying to uh, get, everyone, uh, get everyone else going, but he's 0-4, so he's looking all right. Luis Santiago doing all right as well. Uh, Keith Tyson, he's getting there too. So hopefully we can get those guys up. Johnny Kellogg is doing good as always. He's an 85 overall currently. Jordan Lyles is 2-3 uh, with the 3-1-4 ERA. Johnny Kellogg, don't want to worry about too much about his record, but that ERA is, uh, it's alright, it's pretty good. 2.66 uh, for a closing pitcher, you'd like it to be a little lower, but I guess it's good. For the lineups, Vinny Bautista is batting 292 with 11 homers. Starling Castro is batting third. We have Eric Lopez in the third position. Remember, we got him as for that trade, and uh, that was what sent Daniel Rodriguez to the Miami Marlins and uh, for a couple of players. So anyways, Antonio Salinas batting fifth behind Ronald Rubio, who is our best player on the team. Junior Lake in the sixth spot, hitting 224 with 10 homers. Not a bad year for him. Scott Prado behind him, hitting 244 with 11 homers. Joey Enriquez, the catcher, trying to get him leveled up. He's a 76 overall, hitting 232 with seven homers and 24 RBIs. And last but not least, Gavin James, Hopefully the future center fielder, 77 overall, batting 282 with 8 homers. So I think I'm going to move him up in the lineup. And of course we got Darren Barney on the bench. So we're simming through here all the way up to the All-Star break. We're going to see who made it for our team on the All-Star games, our teams, and uh, see how our record looks as far as standings as we get to the All-Star break. So as we get there, we're actually fourth now. We dropped a spot in the NL Central, but we're only one game back at the Cardinals of that first spot. So we are right in the... Swing of things, our record is not too impressive. We're only three games above 500, but we're still there. Thankfully, it's an easy division. Jose Fernandez makes the cut for the NL All Stars. As you see, Clayton Kershaw, Madison Bumgarner there. I do believe that the, uh, as you see, Ron Rubio is batting leadoff in DH for the NL. That's the only person that made it. Um, the Dodgers have Felix Hernandez and Clayton Kershaw. I realized that, so it was crazy when I faced them. After that, though, simming along. Records getting a little better, pretty much the same though. As far as games above 500, we're four games above now, three. So it's just going back and forth. But as we enter the month of August, we're gonna check up at the standings, and we're still one game back, tied with the Pirates, half game ahead of the Brewers, and one game ahead of the Cardinals. Cardinals are all the way at the bottom now. They're at the top now. They're at the bottom, but they're two games back of the Reds. So the Reds are in first place now. We'll sim all the way through August. Records looking a little bit better, and we will sim forward, and look at this. We took the lead for the NL Central. We're now two and a half games ahead of the Cardinals for that first spot, looking to nail things down here against them, and with very little time left in the season, we have the that uh, Milwaukee Brewers series, and that's it. We're now three games ahead of the Reds as the, as the Cardinals have fell behind as we sim through the month of September. Only a couple games left, and in fact, if the Cubs win this game, they are going to clinch a spot in the playoffs as they will clinch the NL Central. So here we go in a game against the St. Louis Cardinals, 
who just got eliminated by the San Francisco Giants in real life, who are not really contending for a playoff spot in this game here at Wrigley Field. Looking pretty good for the Cubs. First year in a while, they are actually doing something, and it looks as if they could clinch here tonight. With the lineup in front of them, the Cardinals, with their lineup featuring Brandon Belt and many others, as Samuel Leon will be on the mound, who is 8-14 and with a 4-2-9 ERA, so a little bit of a rough year on him, but hopefully he can get better here as we enter the race for the postseason. So here we go in the top of the first one two pitch by Leon. That ball is driven deep. Left center field gone. Just like that, a leadoff home run for the Cardinals. And they are up 1 0. Not what Samuel Leon wanted as the Cubs now find themselves down 1 0 early in this one with a leadoff home run by the Cardinals. So in the following inning, we will have our lineup here. You already saw it earlier on, but that is what it is. We're going to go against Corey Kluber, who is 7-14 with a 3-7-0 ERA in 31 games started. Pretty decent year for him. ERA uh, probably a little higher than they want it to be, but pretty good for him. As we are in the bottom of the second now, 0-2 pitch. This is going to be dropped by the second baseman as the Cardinals will not be able to get the runner out at first. So hopefully we can do something here. Scott Prado up to bat. He drills this one deep. To right field. Gone. That ball is crushed to right field. And just like that, the Cubs take the 2-1 lead off of Scott Prado's two-run shot. And boy, was that a big one. We get the lucky bounce there at second, allowing the runner to get to first the play before. Scott Prado comes up, the very next batter, crushes one to right, and... That's a home run over the right field fence. So we are up 2-1 or two one now here in the bottom of the third. Runner on first, 3-1 pitch. We're trying to steal, and we're going to make it. So a very nice job there. I believe that was Starling Castro, who gets a stolen base as the Cardinals are third overall in the MLB, whereas the Cubs are fifth overall. A lot of teams there from the NL Central, and uh, hopefully we can get more. So still up 2-1 here in the bottom of the fourth, 3-2 pitch is hit deep to right center. Ronald Rubio is going to go off the wall. And that is going to be an easy stand-up double for Ronald as he is now in scoring position. A very nice job there. He is always good, but uh, in this situation, he is looking even better. So still 2-1. Can't get him home, but we will go ahead and get a base hit up the right side as Leon was on base, but now he is not getting him over to second. Next batter we go, bottom of the fifth, runners on first and second, that's a base hit into center field, one run is coming in to score, so is the other, and now it is 4-1 Cubs, just like that, the base hit gets Kluber in some big trouble, Ronald Rubio once again coming up big, it's now 4-1, we'll go to the top of the sixth, and that is going to be a strikeout for Leon, very nice job there, as we will maintain our 4-1 lead as Mercado or Mercado is struck out to end the inning. So a very nice job there. Top of the seventh, runner on first. Uh-oh, this ball is driven deep to left. And that's gone. A home run for the Cardinals. And they are right back in it as they get a two-run shot. It is now 4-3. The Cubs just have their lead trimmed down to one. A very nice job there by the Cardinals. We'll bring in Dory Perry, Doyle Perry to relieve Leon, hopefully he can get out of the inning here. I believe we left Samuel Leon in for about or too long as he was above 100 pitches there. My mistake, but we'll get Doyle Perry to strike out Brandon Belt to end the inning. So looking to add on to our lead here, bottom of the eighth. And that is going to be a base hit even more into right center. That is going to be a double for the Cubs, and that will score a run. It is now 5-3, to three, so we get an insurance run and a man in scoring position. That is exactly what we wanted. I believe that was Antonio Salinas. And here's Junior Lake up to bat. It's a revolution. Gone. That ball is gone. And that is a huge relief as the Cubs are now leading 7-3, to three, a huge bomb to left center. Junior Lake unloads. We'll go to the top of the ninth. Kellogg up to relieve, and he closes it out. The Chicago Cubs 
are the NL Central Champions. A huge bomb late in the game for Junior Lake puts him up and that just about does it as Johnny Kellogg comes in to close out things. He does exactly that. Junior Lake is your player of the game as the Cubs win 7-3 over the Cardinals and that was a huge one. They win the NL Central as they have officially clinched and I am excited for this one. Next episode we are going to be back with the postseason and it's going to be fun. The Cubs are back in the postseason. There's the bracket. Make sure you guys go ahead and like this video because we're going to be back for some playoff action with the Cubs next time. And guess who we're going to be facing? The Atlanta Braves. So make sure to like the video if you haven't already. Check out all of our other videos. Most importantly, subscribe. And you know the deal, guys. Peace.